What would you like me to say? It's a beautiful day. Thank you for being here, my grandson. The eagle. Oh, my goodness. Well, this was, let's see, what grade was that? was high school. And um, I was a senior, but one of my good friends who was a senior hadn't been taking the sciences we had been taking. So he was taking biology during our senior year when the rest of us were now on to physics. Um, and in biology, you had a, we had a, a science project you had to do late in the, in the semester. And he decided what he was going to do was go hunting. His, he had grown up hunting with his dad. And he was going to shoot something and stuff it and bring it in for his biology project. <laughs> and so we went out. Uh, one of our friends now could drive and had a car, so he was driving and we were all with him. And uh, he's got these guns along and got out there into the desert outside of Los Angeles. And this, we're driving along in this back road and there's this great big old bird sitting up on a wire. You know, there were phone wires or some electric wires going on. There's a big old bird sitting up there. So we sit and stare at this bird and we have a debate about what kind of a bird it is. And, you know, we're, we're high school kids. We <laughs> Would you think that could possibly be a... No, it couldn't be that. It's got to be... Maybe it's a hawk or something. So anyway... Out he goes with his shotgun and blasts this bird. And it does a dying swan over backwards. And now it's hanging from, from the wire. And so we have to take out a twenty two and shoot the, the feet free. And we load this thing into a box and put it in the front trunk of his little VW. And uh, <laughs> We think, well, we don't really know, so we better get a couple of those. We go up into the to hatch a bees and we hit a, you know, get a chipmunk and a squirrel or something and put them in there and we head back in and we go to the taxidermist he'd lined up to help him with this project, a guy named Shorty Baker, I'll never forget the name. And we go in there and we're all going into the into the taxidermy office and we're all uh, you know about oh we've got all uh, and you gotta come out and see what tell us what it is so he comes out and up goes the trunk front trunk of this vw and he looks at it and he looks up at us and he says why that's an eagle boys <laughs> which of course is totally illegal and can get fined all kinds of so he agrees to take the eagle, and he had an Indian friend, and they could own eagle and eagle feathers because it was part of their rituals. So he, he gave the eagle to him. <laughs> the biology teacher was never told about this, this incident. All she knew was with this little squirrel or chipmunk or whatever he brought. <laughs> Oh, my. For years after that, if we get together at a reunion or something, that story had to be retold. And to the point where the guy who did did it, uh, he got to where he would deny it. Oh, what? <laughs> that never happened. But of course it did. <laughs> uh, things you do when you're young.